Well, hello there, everyone, and good evening. I'm uh, William Brantley from the Bemis, South Jackson, Tennessee area, uh, ready to report to you today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next nine days here in just a few moments. Uh, we had a fairly decent day today, uh, kind of uh, very be cloudy, fair skies some, and mostly cloudy at other times. Uh, we did get up to a high temperature of uh, 65 degrees today. The normal high is 59, and the low this morning was 30, and normal low was 37. And uh, we had uh, no rain, of course, today so far. Uh, there have been some spotty light showers scattered around parts of West Tennessee in the last few hours, but they have missed uh, my location so far and i'm sitting at 80 hundredths of an inch for the month of november still but that is bound to increase especially by tomorrow our highest wind gust was uh about 12 miles per hour today out of the southeast at about 2 p.m and uh, at 5 p.m i'm a little late getting here but here i am at 5 p.m the skies were cloudy the temperature was 58 degrees as of right now, about 6.55 p.m., the temperatures dropped down to 56 degrees. At 5 p.m., the dew point was 26 degrees. The humidity was at 28%. The wind was out of the east at 10. And the barometric pressure was holding at 30.13 inches of mercury. Uh, the sun will be rising tomorrow morning at 6.39 a.m., uh, the moon will be uh, setting tonight at, uh, well, this afternoon, never mind, it's already set, uh, pardon me. It'll be rising uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 1.13 a.m. later on tonight. Okay, that leads to uh, the forecast for the next few days. We didn't break any records today, by the way, so I'll move on to the forecast. Uh, should be generally mostly cloudy for the remainder of tonight. We do have a 20% chance of a light scattered shower here and there. Uh, the radar at the moment uh, seems to be indicating most of West Tennessee is clear uh, of rain, that is. Most of the rain that's maybe making it to the ground is north of Jackson, uh, mainly up in parts of uh, Gibson, O'Brien, and Weekly counties up around uh, the Martin and Union City areas, and especially on up into Missouri. And there's some more over west of the Mississippi River in Arkansas that's moving northeast. So most of it's going to go around Jackson tonight. But there is a 20% chance of a isolated shower here and there, even here in Madison County. But like I said, most of it is going to be to our north and west. that would be a different story tomorrow, though. It looks like it's going to be mostly cloudy with a good 80% chance for rain on and off throughout the morning hours. Uh, it uh, should decrease to about a 40% chance by tomorrow afternoon. Won't be as many of them, in other words, or not as widespread, I should say. And uh, that 40% chance continues on to at least mid-evening tomorrow night. Uh, then about that time, it's going to end around 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. The rain should end. Uh, we should have a low near 59 degrees tomorrow morning, and tomorrow's high should get on up to, excuse me, that should be the high tomorrow, I'm sorry, uh, tomorrow's low should be 47, <laughs> I'll get it straight here in a minute, low should be about 47, and the high tomorrow should be 59, and pardon me for getting that one mixed up a little. Uh, we should have south winds at 10 to 20 on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Right now, it looks like it's going to be mostly cloudy skies during the morning hours and uh, clearing during the afternoon hours. So we should get some sunshine uh, Thursday afternoon. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, otherwise, it may be cloudy until sunset, then clearing. But I'm going, I am going. got my fingers crossed that we will at least get some sunshine during the afternoon and turn out to be a still a decent day in the long run. Uh, the odds right now are mostly cloudy during the morning and clearing during the afternoon. Uh, the low should be about 40, the high should be about 60, and we should have south winds at 10 to 20 on uh, Thanksgiving Day, Thursday. 
and it's really not a bad day actually for Thursday. Should be nice outdoors. Well, maybe a little cool, but not too bad. Uh, the Friday after should be uh, fair skies with a low temperature near uh, 36 degrees and a high of about 61 with northwest winds at 10 to 20. On Saturday should be mostly clear or fair with a low near 30 and a high of 60 with north winds at 5 to 10. And on Sunday right now looks like it's going to be fair all day and evening with a low near 30 and a high of 62 with south winds at 10 to 20 and on Monday it should be mostly cloudy with a 60% chance for rain with a low near uh, 46 and a high of 63 with south winds at 15 to 30 and next Tuesday it should be uh, fair skies with a low near 38 and a high of 60 with west winds at 10 to 20 and uh, on Wednesday it should be fair skies again with a low near 34 and a high of uh, 55 with uh, west winds at 10 to 20 and it looks like next Thursday it looks like it's going to be mostly fair December 1st with a uh, low near 28 and a high of 53 with uh, west winds at 10 to 20 and Let's look at your forecast for the next nine days. And uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight, Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. Uh, I wish you sweet dreams tonight, and I hope you wake up to a beautiful Wednesday, November 23rd, tomorrow morning. And I hope at that time, sometime tomorrow morning, I'll have an updated uh, weather video for you. And uh, once again, for the most part, this evening, like I mentioned earlier, most of the rain is uh, mainly to the north of Jackson tonight, and uh, it should basically stay that way. And uh, most of the rain is going to wait till around two, three, four o'clock tomorrow morning before it makes it to Jackson, and then it'll be on and off throughout the morning hours and decreasing some by tomorrow afternoon. Well, alrighty, I guess that's it. So uh, goodbye, everybody, for tonight, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. And God bless my friends.